In an hour, I'll be at Las Vegas' number one black festival. I'm unsure what exactly a black festival is, or if, as a white man, I'll even be welcome inside. But I'm going. And I'm going to be very high. Dr. Gonzo's office. Where are you, you bastard? You sound a little paranoid. I'm about to walk into a racially charged beehive with a head full of drugs. I need backup immediately. In my right hand rests an edible nightmare. A hundred milligrams of THC. That's 95 more than I want or need. What's the problem? You've eaten this much pie before. It was the worst night of my life. I should cripple your ass for making me do it again. You brainless scumbag. That video is one of the most beloved pieces that you ever put out. The people require a sequel. The bastard had a point. In terms of fan estimation, the Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas tribute we did is always near the top. Plus, the book has an entire part two left to explore. Pick me up in five minutes. Well, I thought it was settled. I was going back to Vegas. All energy flows according to the whims of the great magnet. Who was I to defy him? I'm playing Raul Duke, the crazed journalist and drug addict, and this is Dr. Gonzo, my violent alcoholic attorney. I'm an attorney. Yeah, I gotta get him out of trouble every now and then, you know? So I've been getting a lot of videos age-restricted lately. Stunts like this might be partially responsible for that. So I'm going to go do something with what's in my hand in the alley. As your attorney, I advise you to put the entire bag in your mouth. You know that famous image of the Buddhist monk setting himself on fire with a can of gasoline? This isn't as self-destructive as that, but it's damn close. You mind throwing this away from me? I'm good. Oh, he's feeling good now. This is the feel-good stage before it gets real dark for him. Oh, yeah. Are you drinking too, or are you just... Maybe, baby. Okay, what is your drink of choice? It's, uh, Goat piss, which okay. is, have you guys ever heard of it? It's its actually Hennessy and lime juice. Dear God. It's bomb. Yeah. Really? It, it's Hennessy and, yeah, Hennessy and lime juice is called goat piss. Yeah, I walk into bars all the time. Bartender, give me three goat pisses. And I don't get laid generally those nights, but <laughs> people who know, know. The name's Danny. We understand a record is going to be broken on this street within the next hour or so. Yeah, so they're attempting to break the Guinness World Records title wow. for most people doing the cha cha slide. What's the current record? 3,231. I see at best 150 souls. Do you think they have a shot? Who's the incumbent cha cha um, slider? So yeah, so it's girl guides and so it's basically like the Girl Scouts of the UK. That's bullshit. That's, That's cheating. That's cheating. Their parents made them be there. They drove them there. That's cheating. They're probably on roids, like in dodgeball. Absolutely. You think steroids would give you an unfair competitive advantage in the cha-cha slide? You have to do the cha-cha slide for five minutes. So there's no stamina involved. What about blood doping? What yeah, is have, this for? This is for our YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, we, we uh, we're focused on world records. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's what we do. What your favorite my, records? my favorite records is the amount of cocks sucked in an hour. Okay, don't use that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, that that is in there though. It's, uh, it's 84. It's an important it's record. In fact, it's, it's 84. We might be thinking of the AVN awards. Right. 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 It's not us. What was your name again? She. Uh, not telling. You really can't use any of this because I have like a British. What's your full name and email address? Yeah, it's you're not getting that. 
Listen, we're gonna talk to those British fucks and give them a piece of our mind. I'm going down to the Thames for a cup of tea. You know why? They don't want to live in shitty ass England. They never see the sunlight. They see the sunlight two days a fucking year. No one watches this, right? More people than watch your Guinness show, bub. I'd be shocked at how many views I have on YouTube. And when you say you, you mean the entire company of which you were an employee. No, appearances that I have done on YouTube. Well, I think those are undeserved views. I think those are undeserved views. I'm gonna be so scared so soon. I ate a ton of edibles. <laughs> I like you, man. Okay, I'm definitely buzzing. I, I'm definitely a little bit in a different world. It's not a different dimension, just on a different planet. Mm -hmm. You might battle through this time. I, I have faith. Let's do a, a Mexican Coke, two Mexican Cokes, actually. Is that what you're supposed to call them? You know what, I'm not 100% sure, but they are from Mexico, right? Yeah. I didn't know THC could hit you so rapidly. My friend uh, took 100 milligrams. He's never taken any marijuana before in his life, so. I didn't seem too interested in the quest. Thanks, bud. You know what, no fucking tip for you, dude. Do you have anything to say? An apology? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about what I wrote on the end. Are you able to review these screens? I saw it. You maliciously didn't know. tip him. That's the only way to put it. Where in town do you live, man? Okay, that's way out of his price range. He's barely scraping by every month. He needed your tip money. I know, man. Honestly, I should, uh, I'm gonna tip you. What's your name? Sean. Sean. Go tip Sean. Mr. Reese Harris, can you come up here? He is the general manager for Oasis Dispensary. We should talk to that guy. Mr. Reese Harris. What exactly are you going to name's Reese Harris. I got this, dude. Let me handle this pitch. He has to open with a nickname for the guy. You can pitch the idea, but you got to open with a nickname. Reese, what's up, man? Hey, uh, my name's Danny. We have a YouTube channel, actually. I'm real fucked up right now. He's going to be real fucked up He's tomorrow. He's on Mars right now, my man. Well, you're about to have a great trip, so okay. enjoy that. Uh, if you start to see yourself getting too little bit too fancy, definitely get some CBD. So right. You're just trying to upsell me on the CBD. Oh, no. I'm just That's not going to do anything. The profit margin out, on man. the CBD All right. Right. Real good. Do you guys have a booth here? Yeah, our booth is actually down there. We'll be giving out some swag, some cool parts. Can we come by? Absolutely. We're to come by. I can't look anybody in the eye right now. I know, because you're so high, dude. <laughs> I'm, everything is I'm down at people's feet. It's, it's almost like he has <laughs> autism right now. <laughs> Put your glasses down. Look at the camera. Look into the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I'm too. Ah. This. All this is, is it's like a psychic obstacle course. I feel like I am a Navy SEAL trying to get through buds. I, I, if I let my guard down for one second, if my discipline wavers, I'm going to be crumbled up on that curb over there. And by disciplined, I, I'm talking about just, it, you got to actively fight off evil thoughts when you're this high on edible. Yeah. Like, I'm afraid if I don't stand tall and act mentally like a badass, like I'm going to lapse and start thinking about some dark shit. Can we? Uh, uh, what do you want exactly? Yeah, that's fine. With the famous journalist, that's me. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You ladies are beautiful Americans. I want you to enjoy this edible. I want you to do more. Tomorrow I challenge you to do 200. Oh my God, that's, no, he'll die. He already starts thinking such negative thoughts. Like, hey, tell him how you feel about yourself, your general self-esteem right now. Be Dude, honest. it's low. Okay, let's say, what, what do you think about your, uh, your, your legs? This is getting personal. Just do it, just say it. Tell me how you feel about your legs. I wish they were thicker. 
<laughs> There's nothing wrong Sorry. with your legs, man. Look at your outfit right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling the, the loathing in Vegas look right now. We're Thank in you. Vegas right now. Thank I'm, you. Hell like, yeah. I'm feeling it. The suit. Hell yeah. Come on, you're in a pink suit, bro. Thank you, man. We're having a good time. All right, come on, buddy. You got to get out. Let's do this, guys. Oasis, 1800. Here, Danny, stay. Hi. How y'all doing, baby? Hey, how's it going? How y'all doing? Sandrine, I'm going to preface it by saying, first, I, she, no, I meant he's not taking any marijuana, right? Get out. Get out. You have suffered. This is not fake bullshit. Come on, you guys. We can't fake this shit. Well, we're, I'm, I've lied to her all day. Yeah. You're, you're on definitely marijuana. Now, listen, she had this request, Danny, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to fulfill this request. Mm -hmm. So I have a business proposition for Danny. Business proposition for Danny. And I will be meeting him in a public place. So I would prefer a restaurant, mm -hmm. a steakhouse. A steakhouse. She wanted a steakhouse. High class. Mm -hmm. Buddy, get ready because you are meeting Sandrine and she's going to be wearing a cocktail dress at none other than Smith and Wolonski in the Venetian Hotel. You'll have reservations with Sandrine. You will be sitting down. We might order something, we might not. It's getting babysitting mode, so we gotta hurry up. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the voice of Sober Danny, interrupting Hi Danny, to thank our angelic patrons who make everything we do possible. Please consider supporting on Patreon. We put a lot of time into the content down there. Plenty of extra videos getting posted all the time. Danny is done. He's done. He's fucking out of his mind high. Look at him. He wants me to go in there to sleep. No. It's time to get up. You have to talk to Sandrine. This is serious. Oh. You got the keys, right? Yep. The lights are on in there. We got this. Get out and make a right I, for the elevators. I fucking like you guys. I like you too, buddy. <laughs> Does he like like you? Uh, got any plan with uh, Sandrine? What are you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking hottie alert. That's right, buddy. That's right. What are you two brothers thinking? Let's go. We're thinking, um, I'm thinking she's actually going to stab you from the way she uh, spoke no, on that message. Violent. It freaked me the fuck out. What do you think of a little warm-up bit before we get oh, over to Sandrine? I can't believe I'm going to. You well, should send him in somewhere. He should, we should make him do it for Monday. What do you think of the warm-up bit? Yeah, I, you want to do it for Monday? You should do it for Monday. We uh, should send him for Monday these nuts? You can say for Monday yeah, these nuts. What's up, my man? You got any, uh, you got any cars going to for Monday? Uh, do you have a ticket? No, man. It's, it's, uh, some guy told us to just come over here. You, you're giving rides yeah, to for Monday? I, I actually got his ticket. You got, you got your, the, the ticket? It's for Monday these nuts. What? I didn't see that coming, man. Well, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about his delivery on that? If you guys need help with uh, Uber or Lyft, it's back this way. Ooh. I'm gonna have a martini. Yeah, where's the bathroom? Because I'm Jim. There's one up here, over there. I think, go bar. Puke. I think so. Go for it. Go with Neeks. Oh, here we go. I, uh, I think we really overshot what we were capable of today. Meaning, I think at the beginning of the shoot, we were talking about getting on stage, freestyle rapping, lecturing the Guinness World Records man. None of that came even close to happening. Instead, I'm about to vomit into a public restroom in the mall. Sandrine, join us. I think you should sit between us. Do you know what this is? No. These are all the video ideas. Oh my God. That you failed to see. Yep. It screwed me over. Read some of them out loud right now. No, they're confidential. All right. How many video ideas are in there? A lot. That's your main goal. You want to pitch video ideas. Well, this. Listen, this is your time. He's vulnerable right now. He's been through a lot today. What did you do? Something it's, bad to myself. It's not drugs. It's not alcohol. It's not anything like that, Sandrine. I didn't want it. I wanted to be sober. 
I lied about not doing drugs. Let's just, he did drugs. I, did. I yeah. we lied to you. He did. He did drugs. Sandrine, he has the devil in him right now. It's bad. Can you help him? Why do you keep drugging yourself? Tell her. Tell her why you. Have, tell her why you drug yourself. Because I'm in pain. Why didn't you do this sober? What's the, what's this? What are we doing? You guys are you're hashing it out with Sandrine, Danny. Get get it together. Danny, get close. Why did you neglect me? Why did you neglect her? I apologize. I'm so scared. Sandrine, I feel awful. There's a hole in... Sandrine, he's in a bad place right a now. A spot in my he heart. to himself. I'm only doing this because it might help. Yes. No, help him. Help him. No, no. Help him. Help him. He needs it. Let it happen. Let it happen. Let it happen. Yes. How do you feel now? That was actually very nice, Sandrine. <laughs> Can you get some of those demons out? Hey, jerk off the third aisle a little bit. All right, you guys, should we just leave? I'm down. Where? I'm down. Yes, yeah, leave. What to, what to Adam Fu's place. Adam, yeah. you wanted dinner. We'll get. We'll go Postmate you something. How fast can you get a ribeye with Bernays in? No, I don't want that. Like I don't want that. that. No. Can we do that? No. No. I, no. Danny, do, are you kidding me? After yeah. everything you've put me through. Oh, no worries. We have to go. Yes. After everything you've put me through, he, I want the steak. She wants the steak. She wants, I a want steak. the ribeye. She wants the steak. She's got it. She's All got right. it. Yeah, she'll get it. Yeah. I haven't even looked at the menu. Uh, for, like, Guy, do they though. really want to see him like this? I guess the fans. Who cares what the fans think? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Here. Hey, look. Like, move. No, move. Glasses. No, move. 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 No, no. Here. Here. Throw up in there. Fuck it. Throw up in this, throw up in this. You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. The hat, the hat. You fucking idiot, dude. What do you mean? In there? The tail looks really great. In there, thank you. In there? Oh my god, dude. We gotta go. We can't, we can't be here like this. We gotta go. Stop, stop, this. No, stop. No, we're going. We're surviving. It's fine. You don't know who I am, Nico. I had a history before the Daniel Wars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sandrine's got us. You know, people forget to She's ask me if I can. Throw up, buddy boy. You got this. It's it's worse than last time. I thought it'd be better. It's worse. I should be closer so it looks like he's sucking my dick. Huh? No, just leave it there, dude. Yeah, that'd be funny. Hi. No, Sandrine, you no. fucking idiot. What'd she say? Shush. This is classic. It's pretty classic, yeah. Sandrine is trying to order her ribeye while, while Danny's barfing in, in a restaurant. <laughs> He's throwing up. He's okay. It's, a, it's in actually the water vase that you gave us. Oh, she wanted something to go, yeah. but we're trying to convince her to just leave. We should just probably go. Probably. We're kicked out. He's, he's barfing in the water vase. Well, tell, tell her we're kicked out. Yeah, we gotta get kicked out. I just see a medium stay. No, we gotta go. Yeah, we're kicked out. Alright, let's go. Uh, excuse me. We made it to Adam's house. Yeah. It's really physically bad. Adam, when I came in, said I, at least I was coherent this time, which I suppose I am, but there's drool all over my face. Tonight was such a journey for me to even stay upright. Yeah, I'm surprised. In those places. You're better than last time, that's all I'm gonna say. You're moving this time, I don't have to carry you. Thank you, Foo. Alright, you were saying. So how do you think I did? I'd say it was just slightly better than last year. A little bit better. Just a tad. This is, a lot of people are gonna wonder, I'm sure, what was going through my head. I think this is the best way to describe it. Every element of your life, your relationships, how much money you make, your mortality, it's under a microscope, and that microscope is being adjusted by the hands of Satan. <laughs> Leo has been a master as far as taming the wild heart of Sandrine. It's been tough. If you're a Fear and Loathing fan, she's our Lucy. He managed to smooth over the disastrous dinner last <laughs> She's willing to hang out again and, and have another little adventure, but she's got a notebook full of ideas. 
Can we heckle those guys on the golf course? Probably not. <laughs> that would be it. I think it'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> 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 Only because food blesses it. Yeah, hey, douche knuckle! You got the worst swing I've seen on this course in ages! Get off my fairway, asshole! Go take notes on these guys' swing. These motherfuckers know how to put it in the cup. The only thing you know how to put it in is a man's tushy. Don't say anything about my sister. She's pregnant, asshole. This is Danny Mullen reminding you to please like the video if you're enjoying it. Fear and loathing. That was the lowest energy like encouragement ever. Sandrine, tell him to like the video. Yeah, please like it. He's doing better. He, at least he tried to. I mean, I appreciate the steak dinner. Thank you for paying for that. <laughs> I feel a little duped that you chose for our dinner spot the most expensive steakhouse in town. I deserve it after you let me down and ignored my birthday and still have me blocked, by the way. What is your birthday? September 21st. It was my 30th birthday. And Good I had, birthday. and the whole thing was going to be me inviting you to a dinner, and it was right. going to be a business dinner, too, on top of everything else. With the binder full of comedy ideas. Exactly. Well, it's going to be a business gondola ride. Yeah. We need to see what genius she's penned. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, before I can perform, you gotta sign the contract. Remember these quotes, there's a lot of good quotes. I gotta sign a contract before she performs. You wanna see it? Well, let's right. look at it on the boat. Sandrine, you know when you're getting your resume polished up, <laughs> you might ask one of your more successful friends, hey, this was email yours minute. over. Yeah, email yours right. over so I can take a look at the format. Well, you should have done that with a contract because this, this looks unlike any other business contract I've seen. I agree. Okay, I agree. If I use Sandrine Litchfield's idea script in my videos, I will pay her $200 per idea slash script. I have to have her name in the video stating in the written word, written by Sandrine. When I use Sandrine's song recommendations, recommend me a song right now for this video. Maybe the outfield from their Brace Hits album. Is that some emo band from no, 1996? It's the 1980s, you know. No, I don't know. Josie's on a vacation fire. Sandrine, <laughs> I'm a little put off by this because, to be honest with you, this contract strikes me as draconian. We gotta get the demons out of you, Danny, that's yes. all. Rid them of the demons. Yeah. This is Santino, just a little sage here. This is Polo Sage. I suppose this is a ritual in Sandrine's world. And you know, Sandrine people may think this is new age and stuff. Guys, Native Americans have been doing this for eons what longer kind of, than that. What kind of stick is that? This is Polo like? Santo, oh, the six-way demon. Danny right why you, now. Why are you near his penis? That's weird. Everywhere. Chakras. Don't be so yeah, perverted. Sorry. Sorry. God. Santino, is she coming off as a pervert? No, no, no. Okay. But to actually get all the negative energy out of his lower chakras from all the partners he's had, because he's been very promiscuous over the years. Santino, I'm sorry you have to hear this information. No. I have not been very promiscuous. <laughs> a list well, we're going to get really rid of detailed. all the energy oh, yeah, from yeah, their vaginas that have gone oh, yeah. into your chakras, and we're going to get that out, if, if you agree. I happen to cherish that energy. It's so what makes me a man. So but Sandrine, if I'm going to pay you 200 <laughs> per, i got to see some of these ideas. Okay, so you will. It's like John Lennon rolling okay. into his first meeting with Epstein. Okay, it's, so like, you think you have all the leverage. You want me to pick up the $170 dinner check. You want me to pay you this much money. Let me see one idea, Sandrine. It needs to be incompetent. It cannot be okay, incompetent. Well, Santino it. is going to be the judge of whether or not your idea has any merit. I'm doing it right now. Here it is. Dude. So I'm gonna have hairy armpits. Nice. I'm, I do a sexual act where I literally will be like going like the. We oh, have shit, this, and then, and then we have the caress, we have the spank, we have the. And then I. And nice. that, what we do is then it has rainbow gay um, symbols on it. You Balls. guys start doing the exercises, but right before I do it, we put on the most dikiest lesbian music ever. Which is what? Melissa Etheridge. We put on I If I Want. Uh, no, lesbian music. Santino, what do you think so far? Wait, wait. Here's the here's the <laughs> kicker. So then at the end, Gabriel asks, is there anything that can make you not gay anymore? A man walks in and it's Howie from Big Brother. Oh my god, and, it's our boy Danny then, Howie. And then and then all of a sudden we cue Love is like oxygen by sweet. The musical budget alone sounds like it's gonna run us $100,000, not to mention these $200 per idea stipulations. Where do you get the idea that I can fund this? Pay for your dinner, your Uber rides. I am not an ATM machine. I'm not, what's your name? I am not a goddamn ATM machine. Danny, tell her how much you spent on this trip. I spent thousands of dollars. 
I, part of that was due to a late night crap spender, it's <laughs> true. I went out after I sobered up from the edibles, but this is still bullshit! Okay, if you can't afford it, it's okay. We can we can narrow down the pool over there. Listen, Santino, listen. do you have a comedy I company? Do, do you want to pay her her asking I rate? I don't like how this is going right now, and I want it, you guys to take like it the, easy. You got another idea, maybe. Well, you know, the how we want... Sandrine, okay. tell okay, me yes. one more idea right now. If I don't like it, I'm jumping okay. off the fucking Guess boat. Guess what? You, you, Adam Fu, Leo, Disney princes, right? Ooh, I like that. He is Tarzan, right? We got Jungle Boy playing from the 1980s. Leo is going to be guest on from Beauty and the Beast. Adam Fu is Aladdin. I got the lines oh, already. Oh, shit. So, no yeah. way. And then, so Danny will be in a cute lo loincloth, right? We got, we have, and I'm the date. And it's going to be like, um, no, listen, Sandra, to, listen to me. Okay. You know what I think of that idea? Terrible. <laughs> oh, my. Dude. Sandrine, why'd you have, you know that he gets like this. Why Bullshit, son. <laughs> Green, I'm tired of your negotiating tactics. Sorry, They're high okay. pressure and dishonest. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucked up my Vegas trip. I just have a little bit of a blowout. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a blowout. Uh, I'm sorry about that, man. He, he, she, 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 she kind of, she kind of. Let me tell you the lines, lines Danny. Let me like perform the lines. <laughs> Some years are stone bummers from beginning to end. Pissed off fans, relationship problems, business struggles. On any given weekend, there's a temptation to flee, to drive like a bastard from LA to Vegas, and dig into a big bag of edibles. So you do, and it seems to work. But somewhere around old Vegas, the demons you came here to escape finally catch up. For a while, you keep them at bay, like coyotes at the edge of a campfire. But as the drugs continue to work out on you, you realize, oh fuck, those skinny little chicken eaters are actually wolves, and you're out of firewood. Critical glances. Everyone on the strip or in the steakhouse seems to be thinking, who are these losers with the camera? You feel exposed, here and now, but also generally. As an entrepreneur, your office might as well be a bullseye. The incoming shells with names like criticism, lawsuit, taxes, and stress. While in the bathroom, doing the big spit, maybe you even think, fuck it, what's the point in going on? Maybe I'll move to Kansas, manage a FedEx office store, start banging a clerk. She won't be much for brains, of course, but one hopes she'll have some titties to slap around. Someone puts you to bed. You sleep, wake up. In the early morning sunlight, you scan the room for the demons. None here. You feel guarded relief. And so you go swimming. You interact with a golfer. At some point, the future starts to look a little rosier. As you leave the city, maybe you even think, hey, even cavemen had anxieties. The horseshoer in medieval England felt overwhelmed by his work. The gay renaissance poet worried about money. Is God really picking on you? Or are you just taking it all personally? Maybe the attacks are impersonal. Like a homeless man yelling abuse into a Starbucks. Which in a way makes them funny. You stop for candy and baker. Marvel at the big thermometer. And if the attacks are kind of funny, why buckle? Fuck Kansas, you realize. Fuck being sensitive and inept. The world has enough losers burdening the ones they love. Instead of being a burden, how about fighting back? How about this, you start thinking as you pull into LA? How about the next time God knocks on your door, trying to fuck up your year, you make sure he leaves with a black eye. Then you chase him out onto the street, half crazy, snarling, come back anytime, you big bastard. Just remember, every time you do, you're gonna have me on your hands. <laughs>